Hi, this will be another short video in a series of videos introducing React Native. Um, in the last video, we we talked about Flexbox, and we used Flexbox to kind of you know play with the these text objects and this button on the screen and get them arranged in various ways. Um, let's talk about Flexbox in like a more complex situation. And um, what I've got is I've got this image here that kind of mocks up, a, let's say like a weather app, okay? Let me zoom in on it a little bit here. And imagine you have all of these elements here. You've got the name of the city, you've got the date, you've got the temperature with the, uh, you know, the, the degree symbol, and then we've got, you know, partly cloudy, that's like a description for the weather, and then over here we've got humidity and, you know, the daily weather forecast and like, you know, an input field or something, right? So, you know, when we lay these things out, um, we want to be able to position them on the screen in various ways, right? And, you know, there's a couple things going on, you know, like the, what we have here with Flexbox, we could use to, to lay out these boxes in general. So, you know, we can have this box on top of the next one, on top of this one, on top of this one, on top of these, right? You know what I mean? So all these guys can be laid out in a column, right? But when we get to, you know, this area here, the, the word humidity and the 78% are kind of laid out in a row. So they're laid out across this way. And when we get to here, the, um, the daily weather, like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, this is laid out in a row but inside each of these boxes here, the Monday and the, the temperature 67 are laid out in a column again. And so we can do that. We can create um, flex boxes within flex boxes, right? So let's give that a try. And, and your goal is to try and recreate this image, okay? Um, and I'll, I'll get started here and we, we can build on this, but we're gonna just do it in the simplest way possible right now. So I'm gonna go to my, um, to my, to Adam here. I'm actually gonna move this over there. And then I'll go to Adam so I can kind of see this, right? And try and, you know, look at it while I model what I'm doing here. And, uh, you know, we've got our, our main container here. And then maybe we want it to say San Francisco at the top. So I've got this text box here. So instead of hello world, I'll make it say San Francisco. And then underneath that, I've got, you know, Sunday, October 1st, right? So what I'll do is I'll, I'll change this to, you know, Sunday, October 1, or whatever you want to do, right? Um, and we've got that, and then we'll take a look at what we got here. San Francisco, Sunday, October 1. Obviously the spacing is not quite right, but we're, we're getting closer, right? Um, let's say, you know, I, I, I like this, but now I want to include the, um, the temperature, right? So maybe I'll make another text field here. You can just make another one if you like, right? Text. And I want this one to say, you know, 57 degrees. And you can do option K. And it gives you the, the, the degree symbol, right? Or you could do, uh, you know, you just actually, I don't know, you can do it whatever you want here, but if you want to do Fahrenheit, um, I'm doing Fahrenheit, right? Um, so we've got that. And, you know, if I look at this here, the 57 degrees is a little too small. Like this should be a lot larger, right? So what we'll do is we'll make a style for, you know, each of these things. So the hello right here, why don't we call this like the title? And I'll change this hello here to, or this, this area here to title also. So that'll be our title. And then this one right here will be style, uh, and then we'll go to styles.temp. Okay, so it'll be the style for the temperature, and then I'll add another style at the bottom here, remember to our styles object, and we'll say temp colon, and I'll add font size of you know, 120, and maybe this should be font uh, weight of bold, Remember to make that a string. Okay, so that's looking pretty good, right? So now, um, let's go back to our picture here, right? Um, let me get this guy in the front, right? Um, well, let's, I'll skip over this partly cloudy in this thing, but let's imagine we want to make this area, okay? So this is a little more complex, right? 
So what I need to do is first get these temperatures and, and days to line up across the screen horizontally. Okay. So to do that, I'll need another flex box. So essentially like this whole thing right here is one row, right? And I can just put that row underneath here, but inside that row, I need to lay out everybody in a horizontal or, you know, in a, in a row going across the screen. Okay. So let's, let's do that. Um, I'll go up to the top here and then underneath the, the text for the temperature, I'll add another view and it's got to be uppercase view, uppercase V, right? And there we go. And inside this view, I'll add a text field. And the, um, the text here, I'm going to leave out the, the, um, the day of the week for now. We'll add that back in later. And I'll just put in the temperature. So let's say this is like 66 degrees. And this is like, I guess that's a huge change from 57. Maybe we should say 56 degrees. And the next day it's going to be 57. And, you know, 58. I'll just make them all a different number, right? Um, and they're at 60 degrees, right? So we've got five day forecast, right? Um, and, you know, if we look here, we'll see that, oops, um, let me actually dismiss that warning there, right? They line up vertically because they're all children here of the view, and we don't have any properties on view, so by default, the text items just line up vertical, okay? But what I want to do is I want to declare this view, this one right here, as a flex container, and I want it to go all the way across, and I want it to, to arrange its children in a horizontal row, okay? So um, we'll call this guy, we'll give him a style, we'll call him style, and we'll say styles dot, how about forecast, okay? So that'll be our, the name of our property. And I'll go to my style sheet at the bottom here and say forecast colon is, and now this thing will be, um, let's say display, flex, right? And we'll say flex direction row, okay? And now I've got flex direction row, and you can see these guys are now all lined up in a row very nicely, right? And what I want to do is I want to spread them out inside here. So what I'll do is I'll use the justify content, right? So I'll say justify content space around. Could do space between two. Oops, wait a minute. Um, I'm missing something. Let's see. Justify content space around. Um, you know what we need to do here? I, I forgot one thing, right? So this forecast box, it actually collapses. So it's really only as wide as the contents, right? And we can check that by adding a background color. So if you get what I have here and you're like, hey, you know, there should be spread out to the edges, you got to make sure that their container goes all the way to the edges. So if I set the background color to, let's say, red, right, that'll make it visible. Like you can see this, the box only goes to here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give this guy a flex property of one. And we could also do this another way too. Actually, flex, wait, I got it. We got it. Actually, we're going to have to do it another way. Um, I guess flex direction or flex property is just going to set the vertical. I want to set the width. So what I'm also going to do is I'm going to say width of 100%. Oops, I gotta put a comma here. Okay, and then let me reload. There we go. Right? And maybe actually I don't even need this flex one, sorry. Ignore the ignore the mistakes, right? So uh, so there we go. So yeah, with the hundred percent. So this is like one case in React Native where we will use a unit. So normally we're not gonna use M's or PX or you know any of the other units. Um, we're just gonna assume everything's pixels or points and we'll just put a number in. But in the case of percentages, when you assign a width or something that's set in a percentage, you can put it in quotes and put the percent sign in there. So this thing is 100% width, so it goes all the way across. And then when I do space around, it makes sense because there's enough space here where we have to divide it up between each of the objects, right? And once I've done that, now I can give each one of these text fields a style property that, um, that will allow us to set the font size on it, right? So we'll say uh, you know, styles dot um, 
let's call it forecast temp like this, right? So I, you know, I just went up to the top again and I said you know, styles dot forecast temp and I put it on the text field here, right? And actually I want them all to inherit. Um, as far as I understand, you can't inherit styles with React Native. It's not quite like CSS. So I'll just assign this to everybody here. And this won't even matter in the future because what we'd really do in the, the people that already understand React, they're thinking that we could just convert this into a component and then just import that component here. And I'll do that later. But if you want to do that, feel free to go ahead and, and do that on your own. Um, so anyway, so we've got our style here. And what I'd like to do is add a rule for it at the bottom. So I'll scroll back down to my, my styles and I'll say forecast temp is, and let's say, you know, font size of uh, 24 and uh, font weight of bold. And then we'll take a look, right? So, hey, that looks pretty good. So now the goal for you, if you want to challenge, is to make each one of these up here a, a, a view, right? So wrap this in a view. So we've got a view around this thing, right? And then inside here, add a second text field that has the day of the week, and then arrange that in a vertical column inside the new view that you've created, right? And essentially what you'd be making is the box here. So it's, it's hard to see here, but I've, I've surrounded all of the days of the week in a box. And then inside there, each one of these um, forecasts is arranged in a column. So it has a box around it. So this is the, the, the text field that we made Right, so we'd wrap that in a view and then arrange the two, the text here and the text here in a vertical column, right, inside another view. So I don't know if that makes sense, but we'll do that in the next video. So thanks for watching and um, good luck with your React projects.